We're traveling up Florida's ICW after sailing through the Bahamas. They say the safest place for a boat is offshore, and we're about to find out why. I feel like I'm gonna cry. I'm shaking. Today, you're going to come aboard Calypso for this crappy experience. We were not ready for those hundreds of boats to come flying at us when we're driving into the storm. Then we're mixing it up and headed to the motorhome for some mummy and daddy fun. We are at a clothing optional resort. She loves it. She's mad. Yeah. Ready? Let's do it. This is how you dress for a storm. And then when the storm's gone, the jacket goes. <laughs> We've been dodging storms every day for a few days now. Today is our last as we travel to a marina that Calypso will stay at for hurricane season. What we didn't realize was that today will be the strongest storm yet and it's going to hit us at the worst possible time. I feel like I'm gonna cry. That was, I'm shaking. That's your adrenaline. Ugh, that was pretty scary. I can't even explain what just happened. Like mass exodus, through the bridge, to our bridge, everybody's flying, freaking out, panicking. I'll tell you, that was the worst time for that storm to come. Well, as soon as the bridge opened, which is every half hour, so we're taking that, and then this huge mass exodus of all these boats. And you know, they're all drinking. They're probably what the 14 year olds driving. So, they're flying, and you can tell they're all freaking out, panicking, running from the Probably storm. hundreds of them. Hundreds of them, hundreds of them. I mean, they're hitting each other. Brittany's on the bow, honking, telling them to move out of the way, and they're like, eh. it was completely stupid. <laughs> this is the remainder. Yeah, this is like the back of the It's my horn situation. I'm, sh I'm shaking. New Samirna Beach, the bridge opened, and it's only big enough for our vessel. We can't even go through with a smaller boat. It's not big. And boats are just rushing, flooding through. Granted, they're little boats. They could have went under different parts of the bridge. We're the only boat that should have been going under that part. So I'm just honking like a crazy maniac, telling them to get out of the way. Yeah, it might piss them off, but it might save their life also. They are coming down through and at you with wind behind them and they're coming right for you like freaking out. So you honk, so I'm new and they go, you could have saved their life. They're little babies. I saw little babies. We get through and there's hundreds more and they're taking up the entire channel. Jeremiah is in my ear telling me he's going off and I'm like, move over. And they're just looking at me like I'm a total evil witch. I'm like, guys, you gotta move over, right? Standing up there, I have horns going. At the worst, worst possible time, my one horn runs out, so I had to get this one out of the package. It wasn't even ready. It was ready. It was right where it should have been. But it was still in the package. Yeah, I keep the package. I'm like shaking. Package. I can't scramble it together. We got through the bridge. The inlet was right in front of us. I just chopped the throttle and basically just kept the boat put into the wind. And uh, we couldn't go forward. Plus, there might be another. There could have been another boat up there. I didn't want to run into. So we just kind of like mark time to find it and then you know got through it we were able to cut over once the storm broke a little bit and... usually we're really really prepared we check radar and we were this time we check radar the storm's gonna hit us i grab our raincoats and our uh, spin locks grab those grab the horn get the headsets going all before the storm hits i close all the windows and we're ready whether it hits or not we were not ready for those hundreds of boats to come flying at us when we're driving into the storm it was crazy. And we had these really nice people on a dock like whistling and calling us, get on our dock, get on our dock. We don't know the depth there. We don't, and we have like- and It's right next to the bridge. It's right next to the bridge. With all that wind. So if you fuck it up, you're just masking Yeah. Bridge. So it was so nice of them. Maybe they knew us, I don't know. But we had seconds to make a decision. We were like, no way. Because if we don't get it right, we'll go straight into the bridge and then we're demasted. Just nasty. The best place for a boat in a storm is off the dock. Yeah. So, you know, we did really well. We worked together. I blew through an entire horn. I'm shaking. Uh, this sounds silly, but I put sunscreen on my face. So as soon as the water started pouring, the sunscreen started getting in my eyes and I couldn't see anything. 
So, <laughs> note to self, maybe don't put sunscreen on. I don't know. That was crazy. That was insane. That's your welcome home. <laughs> storms the whole freaking way but actually we've been dodging storms wrong place wrong time wrong day oh, if it wasn't saturday all those folks would have been there you know and even the bridge operator i was like hey we're clear and he's like i'm really sorry about all that but he saw it all happening but you know what that was scary as shit, but that just made us that much more experienced yeah and what do you always say you're only as good as your most recent like when somebody's like, I was in high seas, and you're like, but if you've been in oh, worse. No, it's all relative. Yeah. So like, if you go out to the inlet, and you're like, oh my gosh, this is terrible. If you go out and it's twice as bad, well then, the next time it's like, the terrible one, it's not that bad. So, but you also say when you go looking for adventure, you'll find some. I have a viewer actually said that. Oh. When you, something bad happened, and they're like, sometimes when you go looking for an adventure, you find one, and that's exactly right. What'd you think of that? Do you even know what just happened? I was looking out the window, a bunch of Neds, I know of. You're looking at a bunch of Neds? <laughs> that was freaking scary, for real. Amazing right now. Time to put it behind us and enjoy the last bit of time that we have off the dock for a while. Hurricane season is here, and it's time to refit the boat and play with our new motorhome. Captain John was on hand to catch the lines, and he grabbed some neat shots as we pulled in. Calypso is a 2013 Antares 44i. We've sailed her through the Caribbean, Bahamas, up and down the east coast of the U.S., and more. The plan is to do a little refit while we wait for hurricane season to end. Another part of this adventure is RVing it up. This is our Fleetwood Discovery 44B, and we call her Naughty Sailors. We'll be taking you across the United States in this bad boy. You ready to grill out? Oh, yeah. I think it's potatoes, steak, asparagus. And I'm going to do the grilling. I usually grill. I may ask for your assistance. I figured that. So this is like kicking off our RVing time. Our yeah. RVing adventure. Yeah. Hey, it says Lazy Gecko Sailing and Adventures. I was talking to Cheryl last week and she was like, well, it's Lazy Gecko Sailing and Adventures. And now we're on another adventure. Yeah. So that's it's really cool. Jeremiah asked me six years ago, do you want to go RVing when he was coming up on his retirement? Was figuring out something to do for like a year and I was like no I don't think I can do that because I didn't realize what it was I just thought you were driving staring out the window I didn't realize it is what it is and I probably you realize you'd be stopping somewhere yeah it's much more than I thought fast forward so we're like all right let's go RVing so Jeremiah got me in an RV yeah for the hurricane season yeah it's much uh different than what I thought it would be it's a lot easier it is a lot easier than boating I did get a sweet jeep with the deal I love it I think that was the topping on the cake and kind of sealed the deal for me. Yeah, well. I'll live in the Jeep. While I got the food prep, let's jump back to the boat. We've been replacing parts that we have been needing for a while. One of which is the GoPro that I'm using. It's brand new, GoPro 9. Uh, our GoPros got damaged and we're just aging and started glitching and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, another thing we needed was a new drone. We lost our drone off the boat. It just basically took off and landed behind the boat in the water and we couldn't do anything. We just couldn't uncontrollably watched it crash into the ocean, which sucked. I also picked up a Craftsman Power Ratchet. This thing is awesome. Um, I'm gonna be doing some maintenance, stuff like that. The amount of time that this will save is phenomenal. So I'm looking forward to that. And then this little deal here takes out little pins with these types of things, you know, but uh, not on these actual ones. What's going on? Um, I'm looking for baggies and I'm out. My store's out. Oh. This is the first time I've looked for something in the store and it's gone. Oh darn, I hit something I think. This is the healthy part of the store. So I have like that for chocolate. Carob powder or whatever. Healthy chocolates, different types of flowers. So I'm not using like all purpose stuff gluten-free options over here, all types of different nuts. So this is just where I keep all my healthy stuff. It's very sad. It is sad. But no, I'm making ginger spice cookies, some homemade mayonnaise. 
Nice. It doesn't look so good, but I, I need to blend it, but you were filming, so I was waiting. Oh, so we'll go for it. Quiet. We had a propane failure where we replaced our whole propane system, uh, except for the one regulator that's on the grill. And right before we got back, it failed too. Um, it just basically stopped turning. So I went ahead and put a brand new one on. This is it right here. It already goes through LP gas system, but then it comes through down here, comes up, and then that's where you turn it on, off, high, medium, low. And you can tell which part is new. We just used it and it was phenomenal. It was so good. I have some major stuff going on soon. I'm gonna replace water pump on our starboard engine. Uh, there's a line down there I might replace and just stuff like that. So we're looking forward to this next season. We're starting to get everything together. Uh, but for the most part, the, the boat is good. The big thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the props. We have max props, four blades. We're gonna remove them in a couple weeks. We're gonna take them, we're gonna set them to PYI where we got the props and they're gonna do a complete reconditioning. Uh, they've been sticking, like when I put it in reverse, the prop won't fold the other because it spins the other way. It won't do that and it causes the engine to either just die down or stall. Um, on both sides and I greased them and I think maybe some electrolysis got in there. Our starboard side it just eats zincs up like crazy. It's always done it. I'm not sure why so I'm probably looking into that later when, when I'm not doing so much but we're gonna send them to PYI. They have a 10 day turnaround. We're gonna knock that out and get the prospect going. Uh, we're looking forward to having brand new stuff like that when we get out of here. A um, couple new camera components which we really needed to do uh, especially when you fly your drone into the ocean. Do you remember how my drone, what did I call it? Fiesta? My drone Fiesta went plummeting into the ocean in the Bahamas? Yeah, I remember if you don't remember. Um, we got a new one. Thank goodness. It's actually really improved from our drone. Super sexy. Happy to have a new Fiesta. Busy, busy, busy. We have trouble stopping, which is one of the reasons we got the RV. Let's get back to relaxing. Need help? most important items. Three, honey. You, oh, my you're, phone. you're one of them. Oh, oh yeah, that's so sweet. It's the Blackstone. It's like a flat top grill. It's pretty cool. So this is the motorhome. It's got these canopies that I'm pretty sure are gonna get blown off, destroyed really quick. There's like no structure to them. They're automatic, they're nice. They go in if it's like 18 knots or more, but there's no structure. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna get jacked up. This thing is freaking I know. I love that. It's like heavy duty too. It's like steel or something like that. It's like, what is it? Cast iron. And then is it easy to clean? I haven't cleaned it. Yeah, I just wash it. Yeah, you just kind of like scrape it down. And then didn't no, you also have to oil it at first? Uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta like prep this grill. Just have it, so you just oil it while it's hot. Yeah. And uh, do it a couple times and it lets it soak in the metal. Get a little squishy, which is perfect. Those are looking good. Yeah. They look we usually like them well done. But uh, filet mignon, we'll eat, we'll eat medium for sure. We are at a clothing optional resort. I didn't realize that um, there were so many options like this. Yeah. Our friend kind of turned us on to it. This is actually their spot. They said, hey, go enjoy it. And I'm like, all right. And I'm sold. I love it. Yeah, Brittany loves it. She's like, just, the only reason she has that thing on right now is because it's going on YouTube. But yeah, it's awesome. It's very freeing, right? It is very, very freeing. On the boat, you have to be an anchor right. like this. Um, didn't sailing. you look at didn't you look up clothing optional uh, marinas like I did. If you the, the, the closest one is in Croatia yeah so um but maybe there is one that I don't know about you know I'm just googling real quick I don't really know what to google and believe it or not there's a lot of clothing optional RV resorts. there's a billion of them yeah, at least in Florida that. so yeah. I'm pretty stoked I'm excited I'm yeah. interested in this new little journey yeah it's caught my attention it's an added perk <laughs> I do love it why not try all that life has to offer? That's how I feel about it anyway. They look good. You did a good job. Thank you. You only need to show me one, besides when it comes to sailing. <laughs> Whatever, you're great at sailing. I'm still learning. There's always situations where I'm like, I have no idea how to handle this, but let's just do it. Okay, I gotta turn it off, that's important. Yeah, turn it off, just turn it off to off. Grab your plate and we're good, you ready? Let's go. We're all settled in for the weekend. Time to relax and have a few cold ones before heading back to the boat. Yeah. 
next time. How you feeling about the haul out? Good. Don't F this up. We'll be back aboard with Captain John, who we haven't really hung out with since the boat show that we attended together. Naval Academy. But it's a lot better than paying $800 a night. So we're going to flash back to the Annapolis boat show. We are walking through Pussers. There we go. I can do this. This is Jeff. He kind of organized everything. It was a heck of a bash. You missed it all. I heard. It was a heck of a bash, and we can't wait to show you all the fun. Okay, Steven Spielberg. Talk we saw him. Here we go. And click. Now they got into a Yanmar hybrid system That's with right. lithium batteries. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.